Hey YouTube, it's Aaron from Michigan Ambush Outdoors. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my Bushmaster 450. Uh, I put my scope on. I'm going to do another video uh, letting you guys know uh, which one I went with and why I went with it. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get out and shoot this weekend and give you guys an update on it. But uh, you can tell by the gold ring, it's a Leupold scope. But um, the main reason for the video is to show you guys uh, the comb riser that I put on and why I use this. So uh, I always have an issue um, with my comb height uh, on any rifle that I, I buy for some reason. I'm always searching for uh, the reticule in my scope. So I've come up with this uh, cheap solution here uh, that uh, prevents me drilling into my stock and pu putting on like a permanent comb riser and so I just wanted to share that with you guys what I have here or what I've used are these foam inserts that I buy off Amazon and it comes with three different sizes for like nine bucks and then I buy this bare tooth neoprene stock guard and under this stock guard is like is like a rubber material so it prevents this from sliding and then when you put this this pad in there it actually gets really really tight in there and i've never had a problem with them slipping uh, i have the same setup on my ruger 1022 um, that i have an issue with uh with uh, my comb height and then also my 300 weatherby mag uh, i have the same setup on there now i've ran through a couple different uh rifle comb risers uh over the years um one brand uh that i had before um it's actually the same company who makes these i'll put a, uh, a link in the description for these in case you guys are interested for them but it's the same company who makes these and it, what it is is uh it's a velcro flap that would fold over and and lock this in place but i don't like that because i've i've used it before and i've had the velcro get caught on branches while walking through the woods and when that velcro starts to peel up it starts to make a lot of noise so uh, again this is just a cheap solution uh, you can get these for nine bucks you can get this for about 16 bucks and like I said that works out great um, and you even get a little bit of a couple couple ammo pouches too so you can carry in a couple extra rounds with you um, overall it's uh, this is gonna be a short video but I just wanted to let everybody know uh, what I've been using uh, I've had a lot of success with uh, with this type of setup in the past so I figured it would be uh, good to just share with you guys uh, if you got any questions uh, leave me a comment uh, and I'll do my best to answer it. And like I said, if you guys are interested in any of these, these products that, or this setup, I'll put all the links uh, to the Amazon page uh, in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you on the next one.